What is the right to spread lies about a deadly pandemic? Where's that? Political speech is complicated. Uh, the First Amendment protects it. The First Amendment doesn't protect false speech about a virus or false speech that endangers the health of, of your users. Uh, Facebook and Twitter have been taking things down they need to be even more vigilant about it. And Google needs to be even more vigilant about what they prioritize in their search results. What the f is going on? When did this become flatten the curve, flatten the curve, flatten the curve to we have to find a cure or everyone's gonna die? And the LA mayor, we're not open in the city till we find a cure? What? Find a cure? Who says we're gonna find a cure? And what about people own businesses? You can't stay closed indefinitely. They're just going to go out of business? If somebody wants to stay in their house, that's, that's great. They should be allowed to stay in their house and they should not be compelled to leave. But to say that they cannot leave their house um, and they will be arrested if they do, this is, this, is a, this, is, this, is a, this is fascist. This is not democratic. This is not freedom. Give people back their goddamn freedom. The one thing you never saw from these people, these journalists, was a straightforward discussion about whether or not lockdowns actually work. You'd think that'd be the first thing they would talk about, but they didn't want to. Hundreds of millions of people ordered to stay home, only go outside for essential reasons. Does forcing people to live like that really contain a virus? There are a lot of reasons, actually, to believe that it does not contain a virus. Please go away from each other and separate. Elizabeth, New Jersey, is now using drones to spread the life-saving message. You are not immune to this virus. Failure to comply could lead to a summons or a $1,000 fine. Let's keep Singapore healthy. For your own safety and for those around you, Please stand at least one meter apart. Thank you. Now, new technology is being tested, allowing law enforcement to use drones to check the health or sickness of people on the ground using virus-detecting software to recognize fever, coughing, and heart rate while keeping officers out of harm's way. What happens to the data after it's collected and how the drones will be used once the danger from COVID-19 has passed. While the drones' technology is promising, some activists have raised privacy concerns. Westport's police chief said the drone will not be used in individual private yards and it will not use the facial recognition technology. He added the use of the drone would simply replace the role of an in-person officer. It's possible down the road, Shannon, your temperature could be taken from above.